Hey guys, what's up? It is Sunday afternoon, October 16th, and I just had a package delivered, something I ordered on Friday. Uh, I decided to order a knife that I saw this past week. And it looked pretty interesting to me. And then I also ordered, there should be two other small items in here uh, that I've been scoping out for a little bit. They are both relatively cheap. Uh, but the one, the main star of the show is going to be the knife. That is the pocket clips, the Civivi pocket clips. I snagged an Olight Mini O-Pen. And then I also snagged a Kubi. This is a newer version Kubi, or a new model Kubi. Uh, and it looked... I forget whose channel I saw it on or where I saw it, but it looked really cool to me. There's a couple different versions. And we have the Kubi Ruckus with some seeds. Or, oh, okay, the silica packet. I didn't know if this was having babies in here or what. Um, uh, got the Civivi, uh, Thug 2, the Wee Thug's little brother, been messing around with that the last couple of days, try to get this out of here without getting the silica packet all over the place, we'll get rid of that, and here is... The knife covered in silica dust. I got the copper and G10 version. It is the Kubi Ruckus. And it's got dull thumb studs. It has a front flipper, a deep carry pocket clip, it's a liner lock with good access, easy access, liner moves over easy. It has Oz 10 steel. Which Oz-10, if it's done right, is, is average. It's an average steel. It'll do well if it's heat treated right. Uh, it's not 14C28N, but if it's heat treated right, Oz-10 has shown that it can do pretty well. Um... It's got this nice little thumb ramp with jimping. Yeah, this is a this is a good size knife. It's got the drop point blade and then Kubi's infamous logo right there in the middle of the blade. I I could do without that. I wish they would just go to get rid of the Kubi keep the symbol and move the symbol up to the top corner of the knife up here somewhere but that's just my opinion get rid of the we know it's a kubi move the symbol up keep the kb on the pivot if you want and then the designer and the steel but we can do without the kubi if you ever watch this we can do without 
the branding right there in the center of the blade. Just use your emblem, put it up here in the top, and it will do wonders for the aesthetics of the blade. Uh, but all in all, this is a good looking knife. Uh, I like the copper, that's, I guess it's copper, it's not brass. I, I don't know if I read that wrong or I wasn't paying attention. That's copper in G10. Maybe that is what I thought. I don't know. I'm losing my mind. I lose my mind almost every day. Boy, I wonder if those tie clips will fit. A Kubi pocket clip. I'm going to have to try that out. I don't know if I'll do it on this video, but there's the front flipper. Oh yeah, that works pretty good. Pretty good, pretty good. Yeah, it's a little pointy, but it's not, it's not real bad. I guess if you were to, yeah. If you were to get up real, real high on it, uh, that does make it easier to go over the top though. So I guess it has its pros and cons, but it's got the standard Kubi action. You can thumb flick it, reverse flick it. Thumb flick it, and you can top flip it, and then you can do the rollover, and then a slow roll. Don't mind my thumbs, they're all chewed up from the Gungnir and my Chavez's, and just what I do for work. My fingers and hands are always getting busted up. Um, but let's do a small little spec check. And then maybe a quick little comparison. Let's get this out of the way. Blades coming in about three and a quarter. Three and a quarter cutting edge. And it's like, I don't know, 3.6 total. And then you have just about eight inches overall. I'd say it's like seven. It's like 7 and 15 16 so it's it's damn near 8 inches overall. So that's a good size knife. Here it is up against the Civivi Thug 2. And let me snag my little pouch. Roaring Fire Gear pouch. This is uh, their toll roll. It's a nice little roll they make. You can put knives, you can put tools in it. Um, I'll be doing a video on some pouches and some other various stuff here in the relative future. Uh, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of different stuff. It won't be just focusing on just knives. Uh, here it is up against the Spyderco Paramilitary 2. It's about the same size as almost identical in size to the Para 2. So if you have one of them... That is almost exactly the same size. 
There it is. Up against the Benchmade bug out. And we have the pair of three, which it's a little smaller than that. The pair of three is a little smaller than the Kubi. And then here it is up against the Elementum, which it's quite a bit bigger handle and blade. But yeah, uh, I would say all in all, this looks like it's going to be a pretty good little EDC knife. I think because of the inlays, it's going to be a little heavier uh, than some people might want to carry. But as a primary, if this is your only knife, uh, I would say this will be a, a winner, the Kubi Ruckus. Got good access to the liner. She just drops down. Yep. Just a little. Just a little effort. Kubi, that's one thing Kubi has done over the last year and a half. Is they. Their action on their knives is up there with some of the best in the budget realm. And Kubi also makes some higher end models and I have quite a few of them and they, Kubi does an awesome job. Uh, I, I have at least 20 or 30 Kubi knives uh, and every single one of them has been good to go. Some of them I just tried out that weren't really my style, but after getting it, it wasn't really my style, but I still use it, use them, and I still carry them, but, uh, that's just the way life is. Some stuff works out, some stuff doesn't. And then here is the Olay O-Pen Mini bolt action. Now I got this in green. Oh, I got this in green to go with some of my other EDC items. I have quite a bit of green stuff and blue stuff and black, but I didn't have any green pens. So I wanted to, these were like 12, 13 bucks. Uh, so I figured I would just snag one. I have its bigger brother. The O-Pen Pro. As you can see, it's quite a bit smaller. It's thinner and smaller. And that's what I wanted. I wanted something that was a lot smaller and easier to pocket. Because sometimes I like to put stuff in a pouch throw it in the pocket, or if I already am carrying a bunch of stuff, having a small light pen uh, goes a long way. Here is the Copper Shipwrecked SMKW Exclusive uh, Rough Rider pen. This boy is heavy, but it's got awesome bullet action and it's cool as hell looking too it's the shipwreck theme the only thing is it's it's heavy like it's a it's a heavy boy it's solid for sure 
uh, I don't know if SMKW still has these available or not, but for the price, definitely worth it. I think they were like 30 bucks maybe, which that's not bad at all. And then here it is up against the tactile turn bold action pen with the Tamascus button as you can see it's quite a bit smaller hence the mini hence hitting the camera all right and this should be two two black titanium clips from or no it's one i thought i ordered two so it's one titanium milled clip from Civivi. I thought I ordered two of these bad boys. So I'm going to have to decide what I'm doing with it. Boy, that might fit on there. I am going to have to see what this fits on. It looks almost like the same hole pattern. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick unboxing of the ruckus give a little overview and get some specs on it i will be carrying this bad boy throughout the week the weeks to come and put it through its paces see if she holds up which Kubi does an excellent job i don't think should have any issues I don't know if I said, I don't think I said at the uh, beginning, but I think this, all the models, even the tie with the, uh, I think it's titanium and it's either G10 or carbon fiber one, which is the other one I was looking at. Uh, they're all 80 bucks, right around 80. Uh, give or take a few dollars, but I think this one was 80 and then the other couple I looked at were either 79 or 80 uh, So for Oz 10 copper G10 Deep carry full-size knife. I Don't think you can beat it We will see though all right, guys, I got more coming up later today. Uh, another unboxing or two, and then a review of another knife that <clears throat> I've been wanting to do a review on. Uh, so I will see you guys on the next one. Have a good Sunday, and I will catch you all later.